The United Nations has made a major move in the meantime against Russia. The General Assembly meeting today voting in favor of removing Russia from the Human Rights Council for, quote, gross systematic violations and abuses of human rights. Newsy National political correspondent Alex Miller joining me now from New York with the very latest on this. All right, Alex, what is the UN voting on today? How likely is it that this is going to pass? Well, Veronica, within just the last minute or so, they have voted to kick Russia off the UN uh, Human Rights Council. They voted 93 to 24. I think what's important to note, though, is there were 56 abstentions. This was a UN-wide vote. This was not something like the Security Council, where we just see a handful of nations uh, that are part of this vote. Right now, in the UN, every country is getting the opportunity to justify their own vote. Um, but we are seeing a large number really deciding to take a back seat on this issue, not wanting to get involved. We saw countries like Mexico, South Africa deciding not to really put a opinion in the ground on this one. Uh, they're making their speeches right now, and we're hoping to hear uh, from the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, in the next few moments. She is the one who was leading the charge on this, saying that Russia needed to be kicked off uh, the U.N. Human Rights Council because of their actions, of course, in Ukraine. Wow. He said there were 50-plus abstentions there, and we know that Russia has been saying that a vote against them and all this would be met with consequences. And obviously, the outcry here against Russia has been widespread, but do they have any other nations that have been coming to their defense? Who are their allies in this? They do, and they've had, you know, the I've been watching um, the coverage of this all morning long, and the countries that are really choosing to speak are the ones that are abstaining and the ones that are coming to the defense of Russia. I'm talking about Cuba, Egypt, uh, China, Syria, Venezuela, Iran, and more. They are going through saying that they believe that this resolution was politically driven, that it's unfair that they believe the West has done things that would warrant them being kicked off the Human Rights Council. Their, their con concern, they say, is the imbalance in uh, the criticism that they're seeing of Russia. They say it's not going to be helpful to kick them off the Human Rights Council if uh, it's not going to be helpful for moving forward with peace if they are not on the council and can't uh, really advocate for themselves. I want to read you just one thing that China said, you know, China facing its own accusations of genocide with the Uyghur population said China always calls for promoting human rights through constructive dialogue on a basis of equality and mutual respect. So I just think it's worth noting, you know, the countries that are backing Russia in being against this resolution are the ones that have had questionable human rights issues uh, themselves. Alex, how much sway does Russia have at the United Nations? You know, they have some sway that you see countries in Africa and in Southeast Asia really deciding to take a back seat on this one. They have kind of a mixed relationship with Russia. They don't typically like to get involved in issues that what they believe Western nations might be pushing. And so it's not necessarily so much Russia's control over it, over them not wanting to get involved in what they see as a spat between Russia and Western nations. All right, you're saying there were some 50 plus abstentions there. Alex Miller reporting live from New York at the United Nations. Alex, we appreciate it. Thank you.